program, Parky. <laughs> Come on, Parky, get with the program. Ole Miss get with the program as well, too. Ole Miss wearing the socks and the powder blues. They are hosting the Oxford Regional, the 23rd NCAA tournament appearance. And I uh, guess what? They are rolling right now. The way that they took Vandy really all the way to the hilt, right? Up 9-1 early in that one. They will have Jacksonville State, Clemson, and Illinois in that bracket. And oh yeah, get the red cups ready for Swayze. All right, so we just saw the bracket, guys, and for Ole Miss, I mean, listen, we went into Hoover thinking this team had lost seven out of nine to Lucci. We're thinking, hey, you know, they're for sure in postseason play. They turned it all the way into hosting there in Oxford. Where did this come from in Hoover? I don't know. <laughs> uh, you know, they, they hit the skids when they got swept by Mississippi State, and I think really it was more mental than anything else. It was a team that was pressing too hard, and at times when you try to do too much and you start thinking, you're not, not able to produce on the field. But I tell you, I saw a wonderful effort from a pitching staff that was kind of depleted early on. Mm -hmm. And then Ole Miss started the SEC tournament. They had 10 hits and only scored two runs. The question for them was, were they going to get timely hits? And the timely hits started to come. And I tell you, they made one of the more magical runs. And I think that tournament has flipped the mentality to where now the team, instead of trying to figure something out, I think they've got it and they believe in themselves again. Yeah, to me with Ole Miss, it was all about the pitching. Like, can we really believe in the pitching? As a position player, it becomes very difficult to wonder – do we have enough runs? I mean, obviously, you want to kind of keep your foot on the gas and, and play all nine innings, but it's a very difficult thing as a team when you're not sure how you're going to get the last six or nine outs. And there for a while down the stretch, Austin Miller started to fade. Parker Caracy had his struggles. Yeah. They, they had gone with Ryan Olenek out of the bullpen. and gave him back-to-back -back saves, right? He did. He did. And you're just wondering, okay, what? how many runs is enough? Yeah. And I, I got to give Mike Bianco a lot of credit. When he put Thomas Dillard, in the one hole, and he started hitting Thomas Dillard yeah. first. Thomas Dillard's gotten going. It, yeah. it kind of gave this whole lineup a different feel to it, and then they get to Hoover. The bullpen arms really have pitched well, and now you look at them and you go, Wait a how minute. deep can they go? Yeah, maybe they can make it all the way to Omaha. Yeah, I mean, you go 9-1. You, you get that lead off Vandy when no one expected to, to you to go on that run. I mean, it's, it's just all about the powder, the powder blues in those bats, right? It's all about the powder blues. I say they stick with the powder blues, but when you talk about the back end of the bullpen, Austin Miller has set the record, single season record for appearances. Parker Crazy, that's been the one-two punch all year long. So I don't think it was anything other than those guys just needed a little rest. They got a little bit of it. Now they've got a little break before they start their regionals. But Parker Crazy topped his career uh, season uh, saves record last year. He's got 11. I think he's back on track. It's not a mental thing. It's a mechanical thing. And what's interesting about their team, they don't wow you like A&M. They don't wow you like Georgia with their starters. But Will Etheridge, Doug Nikhazy, and Gunnar Hoagland, have, you know, two of those three pieces being uh, freshmen similar to Arkansas have really emerged as a, as a reliable starting rotation. Like, you, you know what you're going to get. It's not wipeout stuff, no. but all three of those guys are going to give you a chance to win the ball game. So if the veteran hitters can put up some runs and the back end of the bullpen can pitch like they did in Hoover, the starters are going to keep them in the game, and they could certainly make a run. Uh, I'll go back to Hoover and think of maybe the most impressive interview we had the entire week. Nikhazy was unbelievable. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you looked like he was about a seven-year yeah. Major League Baseball veteran, so I know that the mood or the, the moment's not going to be too big for him. And he pitches like that. And he does, he right. Does. Absolutely. So Ole Miss going to host that Oxford Regional. Looking forward to that. Looking forward to a lot more here on SEC 